doing some work there at the museum. So he's on a completely different time zone, so isn't able to call in. But now we have this incredible octopus at 655 meters at South Reed. With puppy dog eyes. Those are enormous eyes. <laughs> Compared to the rest of it, yes. And Tina's just pointed out that it is Friday in Japan. You know, it's always Friday. No, it's not always Friday somewhere, but <laughs> it's, it's Friday somewhere in the world today. And so this is a perfect example of a great video or a great shot for Octopus Friday. And um, Eric Cord is, says uh, this is a walking octopus. This is a nature paper. <laughs> And they go drifting right series. along. He's holding on there. He's like a daredevil octopus. These shelves are really extraordinary. Uh, what the circumstances under which these were originally laid down must be really interesting. I assume they were all originally shallow water, but I don't know. You zoomed in, Bobby? I did. Yeah. I did. Video yeah, yeah. come no, on. You're fine. Is this um, an okay time to share some uh, information? It's a nice shot, Bobby. Back from marine mammal folks, or do you we want to? You can keep it then. Okay. Uh, most certainly, we don't actually have any information on this octopus right now, so please do give us some info on those. I'm assuming the scours we saw earlier. Yeah, so we saw those scours, and so I sent uh, that information on, and it got passed among the the uh, NOAA marine mammal folks, and uh, one of them, um, Lance, and I'm sorry at this moment, I'm forgetting his last name, you're good, Miami, mm -hmm. said that in uh, 2010 well, they had a cruise just north of this area, and they did some uh, some tows and came up filled with illics, um, and also well, why don't meters, so well, why don't saying that.